Hello everyone, I am Sunshine Doll and I'm coming to give a quick review on this Budiva hair that I got from AliExpress. Okay, I have made this into um, an actual uh, wig. I can pull it on, take it off right now. As you can see, it is not um, glued down or anything. I just stuck it on my head, put a little ponytail up top, and that was pretty much it. I did press it out. I wanted to see how much heat it could take. It did uh, take, I put my flat irons on, what was it, 450? the hair did not burn um it's you can tell it's a few little pieces where they mended in or blended in the hair because you get a few hard pieces every now and again once you glide it through and you comb it you'll notice that it has some hard pieces um i did try to pluck the front of the frontal i'm not real good with that i bleached the knots um, this was my first time trying that. I actually bleached the knots twice because the first time I did it and I did not realize um, what bleaching the knots really were. Okay, so I did bleach the knots the first time. It did not pull. You could still see like the little ant marks that you get on the frontal. And I just said, you know what? Hey, this hot, this hair is not that much. What do I have to lose? I'm going to try to bleach it again and see if I can get it right. So I did bleach it again. And then I finally did. As you can see, it looks, um, you can tell that it is um, not the little black ant bites or whatever they're called. They look like little ants running on your scalp. It's not that anymore. But the Budiva Company... Now, getting on that, I did not like this company at all because the frontal, as you can see, it has all of these flyaways and everything. I'm going to have to put some gel or some got to be glued or something on that to try to tame that. Uh, the frontal had flyaways all through it. The hair was really short and they said that that was something to blend it. They promised to fix it and send more hair. They never did. It was just a big mess. I did not like that at all but i did get a 20 inch frontal i had a um got three bundles and a frontal so it was a 20 inch frontal uh 20 22 and 24 now i was thinking that the 24 would not reach my butt i guess i have just a short torso area because i'm five nine and probably five nine and a half but it did go like right at my butt, which I was really surprised because I was thinking like a 24 inch is not going to be long enough. Well, actually it was and it's to my butt. So I was happy with the length. But the actual bundles, they do shed. I have had some shedding um, and I just started with the hair. I've not even worn it. I'm just slapping it on my head. Um, as you can see, the I have not gelled anything down, but like I said, I did try the plucking and all of that. And okay. It was just, I mean, it's, I just got this hair to really just see what it was about because everybody was saying it was good. Some people said it was bad. Um, it was a lot of mixed reviews, so I wanted to see for myself how the hair was now it did straighten like i said um you know how it has that little flow or bounce or whatever i did put quite a bit of heat protector and quite a bit of um like the all um the light all weightless all mix by organics and um I, I will, when I actually do wear it, I will be putting like some lot of body on it to try to put the flyaways down and, you know, the free spray from, um, what is it, Boho? I mean, not Boho, what is this? The got to be glued blast and freeze spray. So I'll probably be using that to. You know, because I would like some light baby hairs or whatever, but hopefully this will melt in once i um actually glue it down because right now it's not glued down at all like i mean you could probably see that it's not um 
But yeah, I just wanted to share that experience. Would I recommend this company? Um, I feel like the company is kind of fraud-like because, like I said, I had some issues with the frontal, period. I mean, you can tell that the frontal has a lot of just those flyaway hairs that are... And then I guess that's what's to be expected from AliExpress. But then I asked the Budiva representative about the hair. And she was like, oh, we stand behind our hair. Our hair is the best, blah, blah, blah. Which everyone's going to say that. But I was not expecting the frontal to be that bad. Now, I did not get a whole lot. Because a lot of people said they got a whole, whole lot of shedding from when they uh, bleached or not, I did not notice a whole lot. There was some shedding, but people said they were getting like handfuls and clumps of shedding. I don't know if it's because I only used a 30 developer or what the issue was with that. But I'm telling you, the knots would not pull to get that blunt look like you want for it to look like scalp. So I know I'm could have possibly left that on I know at least 45 minutes because if the girl if I wouldn't have thought that I had my if the girl would not have canceled my eyelash appointment it would have stayed on longer so and some of it is like blunish bleachy looking some of uh, some parts of it is more blunt than others but like I said, it was my first time, so I really didn't know. But I knew that the first run that I did for those 20 minutes, no, that did not get it at all. Because I still had, and I was thinking, oh, I did some, and I'm putting it all on my hand, you know. Thinking, oh, this looks great. It's my skin tone. Looking at the actual lace <laughs> and not the knots. I was looking at the lace. But then I looked at a few more videos and I was like, so it's actually supposed to be bleaching the knots and not the lace. <laughs> but anyways, after I got that figured out, I went ahead and did it again. And like I said, it was fine. If all of the hair would have fell out, then, you know, it just would have fell out. But um, it's trial and area, era, area. Yeah, I can't even talk right now. But it's trial and error. And if you want to try that, then, I mean, I would say go for it. If you have some hair that's inexpensive and you want to just try it out and see what you can do with it, that's what I did. I'm, I'm just testing it out, seeing what I could possibly do with it. Then, hey, go for it. I mean, don't be afraid because a lot of people are scared. And that's how I was for the longest but it makes the frontal look so much more realistic when you actually bleach the knots because I've really noticed the difference this time. And I went back and looked at some of my older lace front wigs that I've purchased and they're not bleached and it, it really does make the scalp look more realistic now once i glue it down maybe it'll blend more i'm not sure um i'm really not a person that's big on a lot of makeup but um i don't know we'll see i'll see how i can blend it maybe i'll wear this for christmas or something like that i have my braids under here and i have some pretty big braids under here some huge braids <laughs> under here because the other hair that I have, it's really curly, and I didn't feel like making a whole bunch of braids. But if I want to get that sleek, flat look with this, um, I'm going to have to. Because, I mean, like, you can see that I have, like, a huge hump right here because I have, like, fat braids. But if you want that flat, sleek look, then you it all starts with the foundation. You have to make your braids flat. But anyways, again, this is your girl Sunshine Doll, and I wanted to do a quick review on this Budiva hair. Um, it is shedding all over the place. I don't like that. I don't like this shedding everywhere. So if I wear it, it will, it will only be for an hour or so. But I'm not, I'm not sewing it to my head. And I don't like sew-ins anyways, because, you know, I like to sleep comfortable, and I like to slap it on and off. I don't like sleeping in any type of weave or wig or sewing that's why i don't do sewings because i don't like that but um 
I don't know. I, I'll see. Maybe the shedding will stop. Maybe it's because I've cut the lace and maybe it's because I bleached it. I don't know, but I am experiencing a lot of shade. But if I if I do if I would say the rating on this company one for five, I would give it maybe a two and a half because, like I said, it's not the greatest hair. It's just it's it's really not good hair. The hair didn't burn, but it's not the greatest hair. I mean, you can see the flyaways all through it. The frontal really messed it up. You can see the, um, like, splitting-ish through the length of the hair. The company sucks. I mean, it, and they are just, I feel like they're just crooks. I don't know. I, I would not recommend this hair. If, if someone asks me, you know, what do you think of it, I'm going to give them my honest opinion. Maybe somebody with experience can do a lot more with the hair and, you know, have a better experience with it. But like I said, by no means am I a professional with doing anything like this. I was just home and I had a little time off, so I decided to do it. But yeah, this video is kind of running long. Again, your girl Sunshine Doll, you like the video, give me a thumbs up or subscribe. I don't do many. I need to do more, but... I just wanted to give my honest opinion on this hair because, I mean, you see all the hype and you go out and buy this stuff and then it's just like, did they send them this hair? It's, what's this hair free that they got? I done spent my money and they done sent me crap. But anyways, hope everyone have a happy holiday. Thank you for listening and viewing. Have a wonderful evening.